The ongoing coronavirus pandemic continues to evolve and we continue to bring you the latest coverage you count on. Hello, I'm Stephen Luke. Thank you for joining me. We may have a beautiful weekend ahead, but people are being told to stay out of the water and off the beaches for at least a couple more days. The county lifting restrictions on ocean access starting Monday. This was announced yesterday by County Supervisor Nathan Fletcher. Not all county beaches will be open, however, and certain things are still being banned, like gathering in groups. People in East County will especially feel a heat advisory this weekend with temperatures in the 90s. And since most places are still under the stay at home order, cooling off may be difficult. The county has closed its cooling centers, but it does have some fans available for anyone who may need them. The county is asking for people to donate fans so they can get those out to as many people as possible. Starting May 1st, you'll be required to wear a face covering when you're in public and six feet away from people, according to new county rules. People are being encouraged to stay away from medical grade masks, however, to try and save those for doctors and nurses and to use scarves or bandanas instead. A county task force is looking into a possible link between Mexico and the growing number of coronavirus cases along the border in the South Bay. According to U.S. Customs and Border Protection, at least 41 California employees have now tested positive, with numbers increasing on a daily basis. The U.S. Navy's top officials recommending reinstating Captain Brett Crozier to the San Diego-based USS Roosevelt. He was removed earlier this month after pleading for faster action to protect his crew from a coronavirus outbreak on board. Defense Secretary Mark Esper is considering the recommendation. We will continue to bring you coverage you count on throughout the weekend right here on NBC7.com and on TV with live media briefings and other major announcements concerning the ongoing pandemic.